I'm so grateful I have my children. Oh. Good, okay. I'm gonna find Natalie. Uh, Natalie's not home. Oh, well, when will she be back? I, uh... I can't say. Okay, where is she? I promised Natalie I wouldn't tell you. Jess. Uh, um, Natalie moved out. What? Why? She wanted to be with Christian. She said that um, her and Christian were going to move in with Christian's mom until they find their own place. For heaven's sake, she needs to be with her family now, more than ever. That's what I told her. But what did she say? She's just, um... You know, she's just mixed up a lot of, about a lot of things right now. I'm going to go find Natalie. Uh, look, it's, it's not any good for all of us living together like that. Then come home, Natalie. Natalie, please, come home. I have some things to do in the kitchen. <laughs> Honey, it's ridiculous for you and Christian to find someplace else to live. You can have the carriage house all to yourselves. Please, please come home. Home? Home, darling, home with your family. I understand you need privacy, but us no. being nearby is... It wouldn't work out. Sweetheart, you've been through a terrible ordeal. You need to be close now to people who love you. Yeah, we'll be with Christian. But Christian can be with you at the carriage house. Look, you both need time to recover, you know? I mean, he was shot. You were almost killed. You may not realize that now, but these things have a way of coming back to haunt you. Okay, I said no. Why aren't you listening? I'm trying, Natalie. It's not gonna happen, Mom. I can't live at Lanfair. Not anymore. His fault, isn't it? What? When he told me to choose between you and Jessica, I saw your face. I really don't want to think about that anymore, please. You have to, okay? We have to, until you can understand deep, deep, deep in your heart, Natalie, that I would never, ever choose between you and your sister whatever you think okay, we should... Okay, just stop no, it! No, no, you let me finish. Natalie, I was appalled, appalled when I saw the evil in that man, and that man is my father. I was stunned that he was alive. And then he made that absurd demand that I'm choose? Okay, you've explained it. I believe you. No, I don't think you do. Well, there's nothing that I can do about that right now. Right now, I need to find a place to live. Would you butt out? I work here. It's a big place. Natalie, Natalie. I, I have things to do. No, Natalie, please. What? Talk to me. Please, come on, we trust each other. What do you want from me? I just want you to tell me the truth. Why did you run away from Lanfair? Come on, I moved out. Why? Things were fine. Fine? Fine? I mean, where in your delusional little mind were things fine? If you badger me about wanting me to be honest with you, then how about you be honest with me right now? And I mean really honest, down and dirty. Look, can we go home and talk about this, please? What's wrong? Is this place too little rent for you? Natalie! What are you doing? Stop this! Why are you so stubborn? Well, I guess because I am my mother's daughter. You know what? It's not, it's not your fault, either. Because, uh... I tricked myself into believing that you love me. I do love you. Not as much as Jessica. You never have, you never will. And you know what? I don't blame you. She is the golden child. No! I saw you that night. You thought about it. Not for long, but you did. No, Natalie, you only imagined that. Come on, Mom. You can't tell me that you would have really let that doctor take Jessica's heart. No, and I wouldn't let him take yours either. It's only natural. You raised her. I mean, you've loved her since the minute she was born. If I had known about you, I... But you didn't, okay? As far as you were concerned, I never even existed until I jumped out of the woodwork. And, hey, look, I, I understand. I was this total stranger. I hurt you and Jessica, and then I thought, you know, I, I'd take what I thought was mine. 
We got past all of this long ago. But it happened. And I brought Mitch Lawrence back into your life. And because of me, you almost lost Jessica. So it makes total sense. If you had to choose, you would pick her. So why won't you just admit it? I would never, ever choose between my children. Then why didn't you tell your father that when he asked you? Natalie, I hardly had a chance to. I was so stunned to see that he was alive. It's a simple question, Mom. I already know the answer. I just, I want to hear you say it. I want you to listen to me. I was looking at a ghost. My father had been dead for 20 some odd years. I couldn't believe he was there alive. And then, and then he, he tells me to do something that is so inhuman. I couldn't even speak. But if you had to answer... Natalie, I would have given my own heart first. You have to believe that. No, no, you have to believe that. That's the whole thing. I love Christian. I want to be with him because he loves me for me, not because he has to. I don't have to love you, especially not after what you did. Well, now we're getting somewhere. I love you because I choose to love you because of who you are. You are a wonderful, passionate young woman, and you've made your own way in this world. Yeah, well, that's what I plan to keep on doing. Bye, Jessica. You want me to answer this? Well, it might be the hospital. Hello. What are you doing, sitting around some spa? The old man's being operated on. Is it over? Has something happened? Something happened, all right. And we need to fix it right now. We're all going down. Uh, I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Bye. See ya. That was Todd. I have to go to the hospital. So go. I don't want to leave you like this. There's nothing more to say. Natalie. Honey. I love you. Mom? I don't love you the same way that I love Jessica, okay? You're right about that. But I love you just as much. Because you two are very different, but equally wonderful young women. And whatever you choose to believe, that is the God's honest truth. God's waiting. I am not giving up on you. I will never give up on you. Because I need you just as much as you need me. Stop saying that. You don't need me. You and Todd, why are you so difficult? You know what? Don't waste your time on me, okay? I mean, I'm fine. I got Christian. That's all I need. Marcy, don't let that milk boil over. Hey, is that my kid who traded me in for the luxury model mother? Leave me alone. In a second, uh, baby, you think maybe you could spot me for a 20? No! What's the matter? Gravy train doesn't stop here anymore? I'm for this. What's with you? You look bummed. All right. Take the 20. Get out of my way. Do I look like a toll booth? <sighs> You're welcome. Don't mention it. Thanks, though. Move. You know, it's not like you have to go out and earn this money. And what would you know about that? Hey, I'm looking for work. No, seriously, I am, but I'm not gonna go flipping hamburgers wearing a hairnet working for chump change. I got a reputation to unmold. Yeah, good luck with that. Which parents treating you okay? Because if they ain't, I got room. Are you drunk? No. Well, better get at it. 